Right, um, let's try and pick the bones out of that. I mean, that was one of the great games of Premier League football. What drama. It's a shame this place wasn't full. What an advert for the Premier League. This is what you, makes you love it. You come to Brighton, you expect Man United maybe to win the bigger club, bigger team. But Brighton, you have to give them huge credit for their part they played today. They were magnificent in all they done. Unfortunate to, get to, 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 not, um, to not get something out of the game. Manchester United showed great character. Loads to work on. Loads, I'm sure, Oli will be sitting there in the inquest after again. We need to do better here and there. But the character is what he'll, he'll be looking at and saying to the players, you showed you've got that. And the front four, the quality they have is undoubted. That's not what we're worried about. Fantastic in terms of what they've done when they went forward at times. What's the emotion like in that home dressing room right now? They won't believe it. They won't believe it. I was stunned that our Solskjaer kept his composure because Rio was all over the place here when that penalty oh, went in. Oh, screaming, it was, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> it was brilliant. Now, what, listen, that's why you love football. And you said it yourself, Jake. Imagine this place was full house now. It would have been rocking because yeah. it was amazing. And the drama, the quality. I'm with, right with Rio. Positives for Man United. They got the job done, got three points. They got four or five absolute world-class attackers that are going to, with, with such flair and quality, and they're going to score goals. There is there is holes in the team, there's holes in the, t in, in the system, but they've come away with three points, and it would have been disastrous for them not to. And you talked about Manchester United's character, one man who showed plenty of character, nerves of steel, standing out there in a silent Amex, knowing no. that one kick was going to win the game for his team. He was shouting at him, and now Des is talking to him. Bruno, that was extraordinary. I mean, you had to get a result today, but good grief. You really rode your luck out there. Oh, it was a difficult game. We know Brighton have a really good team. They can play, they have qualities, they're aggressive. In the first half, uh, we leave we leave so many space to them to play. We are not aggressive uh, as I want. Uh, we give we give away two goals, the penalty. I can do much better. I need to stop early. This second goal, we need to do much better. Also, you, we, we give, we give some, we do some mistakes. But uh, big teams need to be like that. We need to, you need to believe it until the end. Uh, we create a chance. Okay, it's a penalty. We score from a penalty, but we don't know if the if edge when he when he headed the ball, if, the, if it is not an end ball, maybe it goes on goal. You know, uh, there was no point to to say nothing at this point. Now, he's looking forward and thinking again against Brighton to, to do much better than what you do today. Does it feel like a huge escape though? Because Brighton had so many chances, they hit the post, they hit the crossbar, I think it was five times to hit the frame of the goal. Oh, as I say, Brighton did, did very well today, but maybe because we are not aggressive as, as we want, you know. Uh, we need to, to recover more balls, we need to press better, we need to lose less balls and, and maybe they have, they have a lot of chances, true. Maybe everyone can say maybe they deserve more or not. I don't know. The point is, score goal is not taking the crossbar or the post. Sometimes it happens to us. Uh, we see the game against Sevilla and Copenhaga. We we shoot, I think, 40 times in the goal. We score twice on the penalties only. So sometimes you have to you have to have some lucky. You have to have some defenders defending well and the keeper also because David did very well today and also all the defense okay in the in the goals we can do much better i think everyone agree and we will work on that a key moment was the penalty decision being overruled by a referee and var when they saw the repeat again i mean was that a turning point for you no no <laughs> was penalty the referee didn't see he whistled for the hand uh, we know we know also if if you whistle for the end of the game he needs to wait for var was was the point you wait i think was clear and ball yeah. we see we all see the image no i meant Maybe. the earlier one with, with connolly the, the clash in the box where connolly came across I, I again it's a lot I of tangle see. of legs i was i was far from that one but as in the first one also i i think it, the contact comes more from him than me but was a, was smart he, i need to stop early i don't stop he comes against me was really smart take the penalty the second one i don't know maybe yes maybe not uh, sometimes we take penalties and people say there's no penalty for Manchester this time was for Brighton thanks Thank very much, much. Wow, so much to talk about still. We're on for a little bit longer, but let me just remind you where this leaves both teams in the league. Brighton sit 10th um, after playing so well against both Manchester United and Chelsea, but with nothing to show for it from both of those games. They've got one win from their three matches so far this season. And we said Manchester United needed a response. They gave one today. They may well have shipped 18 shots on their goal, but they won the game. 
only just. The latest goal in the Premier League for the last decade or so sees them pick up three points and move to 13th in the table. There's plenty more still to come on BT Sport and from the Premier League across the, the next couple of days. Crystal Palace up against Everton is coming your way very shortly. That one is a three o'clock kickoff. And then we've actually got two games live for you on BT Sport tomorrow. Sheffield United up against Leeds, West Ham facing Wolves.